Hi everyone, this is my um, video explanation of a uh, final uh, project in US history. The project is entitled Piecing It All Together. Essentially it is a jigsaw project that requires students to become experts in a particular area uh, and then share with each other um, for better understanding. Uh, begins with a choice of topic, a choice of period. Um, there are many topics and themes that you can choose in United States history, um, and I have listed a few here, gender, politics, local history, race and ethnicity, economics, religion, um, and change. And um, then I've also listed the choice of period, pre-colonial, colonial revolution, new republic, antebellum, civil war, and reconstruction. And the choice of period there represents uh, the first half of the United, of United States history. Um, essentially, uh, I want students to be able to have a choice in the content that they review or that they do a final project on. Uh, and so that uh, they can kind of mix and match here to decide what would be best. For example, they could do a project on politics during the colonial age. Um, or local history during the Reconstruction, or race and ethnicity during the Civil War. Um, a lot of, uh, some of them will work really well together, and hopefully students will kind of understand how to best match these up. Um, here's an example of some specifics I would give as a prompt for students if they chose politics. Um, I would list possible search terms, congressional action, political parties, minority and majority, compromise, executive order, uh, more general terms. And then also a caveat here to it, uh, it says, please make these terms more specific based on the period of history of your chosen political, i.e. political parties of the early 1800s. And then I've um, added some essential questions here. What role did each branch of government play? Who were the major players? What groups held, lost? power, why, what laws were created, uh, were the laws successful in your opinion, how did the citizens view the actions of the government. Um, here's another example of uh, if they selected gender, possible search terms um, could be educational opportunity, gender roles, division of labor, child raising, feminism, motherhood, um, etc. And uh, some essential questions would be um, how is femininity and masculinity defined? What was the division of labor between men and women? What political, social, and familial roles did each gender group play? What inequality existed between gender groups? How did child raising promote gender roles? So these are the prompts that I would provide based on um, their choice. Um, and each one uh, would have uh, this type of information. Um, now, as far as a project type, I have uh, chose to offer kind of a um, uh, a menu for students and um, each of the projects must have a part of social media and you'll you'll um, understand this as I go through each one um, I'll read the directions for each of these uh, project types um, so that you understand the component of social media behind each of them um, the advertising campaign uh, the directions state, create an advertising campaign comparing your cho chosen issue in the past to a contemporary problem. The advertising should incorporate QR codes and record the traffic to your website or blog. It should also has, have visual components such as infographics, uh, a Glogster poster, or original artwork, um, or computer graphics. Um, in the YouTube timeline, uh, the directions state, create a series of YouTube videos that outline the major events in your chosen issue. Publish them in a playlist and invite your friends, family, and the community to view them using social media. Record the traffic to your playlist. The instructions for the podcast state, create two podcasts about your chosen issue. Incorporate audio and video if you choose to make the podcast into a video cast um, into your interviews. Create mock interviews that integrate real life people from history. Invite others to watch or listen to your podcast. Uh, the primary source blog. Uh, the, uh, the directions state create a blog using a series of primary sources relating to your chosen issue. 
The document should have commentary to accompany them. Try telling a story by weaving the primary sources and your commentary together into a timeline. Use fiction and nonfiction from the period. And finally, the town hall meeting. The directions state, hold a town hall meeting in which you discuss your issues from both a historical and contemporary viewpoint. Have at least one historical visitor, played by a member of your group, and one real member of the community that understands your issue based on uh, their life or work experience. Invite others to attend through social media. Part of the requirements for this project will be to take part in uh, the projects of other class members by either um, viewing their um, YouTube timelines, attending the town hall meeting, um, following their advertising campaign, uh, uh, or, or so on. Um, so essentially um, that is when the parts of the jigsaw come back together when after you've done with your project or your group's project you can um, go around and um, participate in the other students projects that are going on throughout the uh, school uh, and I would use this also not just in one class but uh, in any um, United States history class that I was teaching um, in, in the current uh, quarter so hopefully that gives you an understanding and I idea of what this uh, project it would be and how it would incorporate um, um, uh, multiple intelligences through the use of this uh, the unit menu and the choice of content at the beginning.